Hello, everybody. Here, this is Jenny Lee Sikon and my colleague in England, Rosalind Smith. We are here today for our next uh, So for Women's Journey video series topic. Hi, Rosalind. Hi, Jenny. Yeah, I know the weather there starts to get a bit cold, huh? <laughs> And yes. wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and wet, yeah. So here we are still in summertime. And uh, yeah, anyway, thanks again to the high tech to bring us together, making it possible. So today's topic is about how to identify the patterns that got us stuck. So Rosalind, you know, I know, we went through a lot working on these kind of pattern thing, you know, for quite a while. And we know from our experiences working with our clients, you know, about the whole thing. So I'd like you to share with me a little bit, you know, first of this concept, what is pattern? this concept we are talking about because some people might not realize or understand yeah sure and, mm -hmm. and to be honest you know people don't realize because it's just they seem it's just part of their life but speaking um, giving an example of myself I think that's the easiest way to explain it is I used to have such a, um, a pushing energy and I continually, um, I, I continually did that. I continually pushed with whether it was something to do with work or whatever it was. And I would drive myself mad if I didn't achieve what I wanted to achieve. And, and I think it's good to set goals and it's good to, you know, if you're a success driven person and whatever that success means to you, but for me, it was to my own detriment where I would reach burnout and I wouldn't, it, it actually took me out of the way of what I really wanted and what I really believed in because I just thought I should. And this was a pattern that I repeated time and time again. And it's a cycle that you get yourself into. And I, I knew it was there. I just didn't know how to get out of it but not only didn't know how to get out of it, I actually didn't think I could because I thought it was just who I was and just learning to control it a little bit and I'll be fine. Um, but I always went back to it again and I always did the same thing. And of course I have clients that come in. Now this could be a pattern that they run in their relationships. So it could be oh, yeah. maybe a lady, for example, that says, well, that's just my luck to choose another man like that. Or, you know, um, or, or vice versa, a gentleman that could say that about a lady or I always attract these sort of people in my life, you know, oh, yeah. um, I always attract these situations. And when, when you listen to that, it's negative, really. And all it is is belief patterns that we have. It, you know, it doesn't mean that we have to keep them, but I it got me to the point personally that I was on my knees with it because I didn't know any other way and didn't know how to get out of it. It was just what I did. And that what I did and that striving and that pushing and that frustration and that caused a lot of tears, a lot of heartache, a lot of anger, bitterness, resentfulness, because I then started to think there was something wrong with me. Yeah. And I became the victim. Yes. Oh, yeah. You know, so that's, that's a, to me, is the best way of describing what this pattern is. It is a, is a cycle of something that you repeatedly do. Yes. Yes. Time and time again. But instead of noticing identifying it as a pattern the negative language that you tell yourself is the victim voice yes why me 
or like I say, well, I always attract these sort of people. It's the story of my life. I've heard myself say that. It's the story of my life. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. You know, I just feel like you covered in so many ways already. So I like to add something, you know, not repeating part of what you said. Um, pattern, yeah, really myself also experiencing in many years. Uh, so what I would to like to share is something that keeps triggering you, no matter it's a person or the similar type of people or, you know, some occasions or even some weather or time you know, all these kind of detailed things. For example, um, I work with some people, they have their physical symptoms, headaches or so. They would say in always, it always happens in rainy, cloudy, depressed days in the afternoons or something like that. Or some people are, uh, struggling with their addiction to food, sugar, alcohol, whatever, they would say it always happens when it's in the afternoon, you know, like around four to five o'clock or so, I just started to feel, feel my whole energy drained or whatever. So that kind of thing, the trigger points and, you know, people, of course, you already mentioned, you know, the relationship triggers mm. or the emotional triggers when you sit there you know in front of the desk started to work on something you actually don't feel good about what you need to do and those little noises in your head start to talk to you so instead of put your whole energy connecting to what you do you actually you know Allow yourself unconsciously listening to those busy noises. And the thing is, those patterns, those noises, feelings, when you get, you know, like uh, activated or clicked off into those zones, your logical mind doesn't really work. So for me, my pattern before, when I was younger, it was always like anger that I cannot be myself. I cannot be myself. But if you ask me who your true self really is, I didn't know. I cannot tell you. I just feel like anger and a bitterness. I cannot be myself, blah, blah, blah. So we didn't know all of us have somewhat these kind of patterns. You know, when we feel bad about that, when we feel anger, we cannot get out and this bitterness, frustration, whatever disappointment, unfulfillment come up. We don't know, actually, they are blocking us to really, you know, have what we want. What we want is on the other side, not this pattern. We want to feel, you know, like a thrived uh, alive and we can freely express ourselves like you know we both are doing here and we step out to do the work to help others right so that's what we want to have and it especially our soul's purpose we go through the pains actually those pains are our helpers and not just the patterns but they are patterns right but they come here we experience confront this confront those patterns to help us to eventually come out to the other side. So, True. but anyway, those are the patterns. Yeah, and I see it as a cleansing process. It's yes. like, for example, you know that a lot of my work is with weight loss clients. And you was exactly right when you said, you know, that they go through a cycle of eating something, feeling guilty. I'll start again Monday. Then yes. they'll get on that treadmill of guilt. And yes. it's all of... It, and that is, again, a pattern and a cycle. Yeah. But when we start the work, it's about working with that unconscious part of your mind or yes. subconscious, whichever way we want to view it, it's interchangeable. And that will always, always ride over you consciously. 
Yes. It's the powerhouse yes. of a mind, and we know that. This is where yes. the beliefs are set in. Yes. This yes. is where, from yep. a very young age, even in the womb, or even before, you know, if we believe in past life reincarnation, we bring that through with us. And there we are, we are going to, we continually run those patterns or those cycles because yes. the universe is kindly showing us as well yes. what yes. it is repeatedly yes. that it is that you agreed you wanted to let go of this time. Yes, yes, yes. And when you're not acknowledging it, of course, you're going to get that pattern again and you'll keep on going through that cycle. Yes. But it's all locked in yes. unconsciously. And this is why people you know think that well i don't know what's caused it well you don't really need to know that to be honest yeah yeah, yeah. you know because it's it's an unconscious act and people believe that they just have to keep it because that's yeah. just the way that i am but then the self worth goes down Yes, yes. You actually started, you know, our next point we want to discuss today. It's really like, you know, how were those patterns created? And uh, you mentioned some of them already, you know, we some kind of, you know, like so intention or purpose we brought it when we were born or so but mostly you know it all goes back they all go back to the childhood time some early events we went through and uh the, the parents patterns actually their emotional pattern their belief system and not only parents 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 by generations so our whole tribe, the culture. So I can so relate to the pattern you mentioned, push against striving for success, pursuing external success. That's who I, you know, grown up with. So all these belief, you have to strive, work hard for external success, that kind of thing. So they were there and, uh, when we actually keep feeling it we are trapped so our head will not help us because we try to figure things out and we go really into it when we cannot find the solutions we go crazy <laughs> so yeah. because you know we feel so stuck so that's how they created in the past so even though we are experiencing some of these patterns we still are triggered or so but this is not something from now the present moment even not this person mm -hmm. so i used to feel like i you know that's my way to help everybody take care of everybody giving my energy to love them right so i keep giving i keep giving i subconsciously I believe that they should treat me back the same way to really care about my feelings about this and that but they didn't and then I felt resentful how come mm -hmm. because I kept giving but not receiving the love the support back I just feel like unsupported you know unheard you know not understood of my feelings or whatever I just kept trapping there uh, 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 being trapped there and then i finally realized that when you keep feeling unsupported you will keep feeling unsupported is that funny because Absolutely. we are in that feeling and a vibrational zone and that kind of feelings that patterns really are the resistance for us to get out to the other side of this pattern to have the freedom to finally feel supported so that's how they were created but the thing is when we really you know need to come out we actually the solutions are not really go you know like uh, get rid of this figure it out we actually it's all about the alignment you know honor or so that will be our next topic you know in our next video series but today we just 
discuss a little bit of the basic concept about patterns, how they created. We don't even need to figure out that much, that clearly. We only need to really to, you know, honor, to listen and start to be aligned. Then changes will start. But now we will, you know, move to the next point we want to talk about today. Why people, some people just don't change? I think um, jumping on the back of what you've just said. Yes. It's firstly is, is recognizing it. And it, like you said, it could be in your cellular memories. It could be, you know, and that's, recognizing it you're halfway there but there are people that you know are probably never going to heal and that's because they recognize it but then there's some people it doesn't bother them that much they just they're more accepting of well this is who i am so they don't believe that they can change yeah yeah maybe so, that's their fate and it is right. what it is they have to live with it huh yeah and even if they signed up you know to deal with it this time if they feel that do you know yes it's affected me but some people i've heard them say oh i'm i'm too old now to do anything about it but yeah. it's just the yeah, way it's beliefs. just the way it is how yes. many times do we hear that it's just the way that it is yeah. and it doesn't matter what age you live to yes when That's we so do true. healing we yeah. know how beautiful that feels how it lifts us how it makes us feel tangibly um happier more joyous yeah, lighter and yes. lighter i was i was and say free lighter. and free yeah so but so it doesn't matter to me what age you are it's about do you have you you know has it got to you enough that you do something about it but i think yes. one of the biggest things is is one people don't believe that they can let it go because oh my mum was like that my dad was like that yeah. it's an ancestral trail it's their gene yes it's their gene and they can change yes but That's... also it's about people being scared of change yeah. now they've lived with it for so long that has become their identity yes so even when i'm doing work with clients and we're releasing things and letting them go and it feels amazing to do that we also work on the fear of who will i become yes. not always but yes. often that can be there oh yeah I'm so used to this is this is who i am identity changes yeah fear yeah. of that yes yes yeah. so true so yes letting that go mm -hmm. and of course in life we have curves in the road and we don't know what those curves are going to be and some people are just feel safer where they're at yes and they yes. feel yes. that if i let that go and i become or feel different to what i do now will i leave my partner will i change will, will i lose my friends you know will i change in such a way that yes. people are not going to be able to identify with me oh, anymore? Yeah. Oh, yeah. when actually big fear yes it, it's the big fear when actually this all can be resolved yes yes and adding another point like uh they just uh feel this uh, uh, identity when they come out and uh, they want to actually hold on to it because these patterns are actually unconsciously still serving them, protecting <laughs> them. When they come out, it's definitely, definitely don't feel safe for them. So that's actually the biggest one uh, when I also work with people this is the final step hey we uh, uh release shift and uh, clear the stuck energies now what we are ready to step and uh, step out move forward right it still doesn't happen because <laughs> that's the final piece of the resistance fear yeah. of the changes and the old stuff still protects and you know helps serves so 
all these reasons. We might miss something, but these are the major reasons that, you know, why we cannot. And also, of course, some people, they really feel the pains. And uh, they said, I'm done, I, I, enough is enough, you know, I, I just uh, have to live with it. It's also because they haven't found the ways yet. If yeah. they could have any way, find the solutions, they would jump in again to do this, right? So the internal conflict last time we talked about, it's there still. So conclude this point is really, yeah, people don't change for good reasons. But we do have the ways, we do have the tools, and both you and me and many of our co-workers out there, we went through our transformations and come out. When I was in those years, I had this strong voice in my mind that I am going to come out. I will be the example because I know how it feels and I will go out to show the way to help others. I just know we will. So here we are. We both experienced that and came out to do this. So pretty much, you know, these are the basic concepts we talk about around the patterns that got us stuck. So in our next uh, Syria video series, we will talk a bit more about, you know, how to deal with some of the tips, the tools, steps to help us, right? Timing is always so, goes so fast. So if you don't have anything else, uh, Ross, so I think, you know, we just call this the day for today. Yes, for sure. I just want to say to people that if you're watching and listening to this now and you've got those patterns running, you know, and you do feel that you've had enough of it, and you know that they're definitely as we've said all throughout this is that you can change you yes. can you know make those tangible changes yes and it's so rewarding i yes. always decided years ago that i just wanted to be the best version of me yes. because while i was a not that there was anything wrong with me but if i'm more content yes. happier yes. and I, that I feel congruent with where I'm at and feel aligned, yes. Yes. then the better I am with people around me too. Oh, so yeah. it's not just about, for me, it, it, it is, yes. but it's also about what I can give off and what I radiate my vibration to other people. Yes. And this yes. is what happens when we start to heal. Oh, yes. 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 Issue. yes. And I know we're going to talk totally. about this on the next on the next series totally totally yeah we both agree we talk about that and i want to emphasize here the pains from our patterns are not our enemies or obstacles <laughs> they are our helpers they yeah. are our souls voices to tell us these are the lessons we come here to learn and finally graduate and mm. to live a life with satisfaction and fulfillment oh <laughs> yeah that's it yeah so yeah that's all for today thank you so much for watching let us know if you have questions and you can find us we will put our information there join us for our group or whatever supporting you know uh, uh zoom supporting team so we will see you next time thank you again thank you ross bye, yeah, bye. bye.